If you've clicked on this video, then it means that you either want to change something from the past or go to the future. But what if I told you that I have time traveled and you can do it too? But how? Let's start with the basics first. What exactly is time traveling? I mean, think about it. We all travel in time. We travel one year in time between birthdays, and we are all traveling in time at approximately the same speed, one second per second. But imagine someone walking very fast. Would you believe me that they are actually time traveling? Imagine yourself just doing nothing and just lazing around sitting in your house and just wasting your life. Now imagine your friend just running around you as fast as he possibly could. Scientifically speaking, he has time traveled and he is actually three femtoseconds younger than you. So when your grandma asked you to move more and stay active, she was actually quoting Einstein's theory of relativity. NASA's space telescopes also give us a way to look back in time. These telescopes let us observe stars and galaxies that are incredibly distant. The light from these galaxies takes tens and thousands of years to reach us, so when you're looking through a telescope, you're actually seeing them as they were many years ago. It's like stalking the universe's old Instagram account, which by the way is a serious offense and can put you in prison up to five years and a fine of up to $20,000. And scientifically, all this is actually a form of time, time traveling. Travel. But come on, you didn't click on this video to understand how to do that. When a random person says he wants to time travel, he doesn't mean running around his crazy friend or stargazing. He's talking about going back in the past and being able to date his ex all over again before you find out that she belongs to the streets. It's your ability to be able to travel in the future as well as the past. However, scientifically speaking, the idea that we can travel back in time is actually not possible, so yeah, that dream of yours, it's never gonna come true. So why can't we travel back in time? It's the same old paradox that if you travel back in time, you could possibly change the order of events, and that could lead to you possibly not existing, and that in turn making it impossible for you to be able to time travel in the first place. You could essentially end the world if you traveled back in time, however, some scientists have a different take on this. For example, imagine yourself traveling back in time and you accidentally kill your grandma in the process. Then how do you exist? It turns out you're adopted. Let me explain. If by traveling back in time, we do change the order of events in such a way that would affect the future, then it turns out the future would shapeshift in a fashion which would accommodate your current reality. So if you killed your grandma, that just means that you're adopted and you weren't really her grandson and that's how you came into existence. But forget traveling back to the past, let's talk about time traveling to the future. Ironically for that, we need to time travel back to the past. More than 100 years ago, Albert Einstein came up with an idea about how time works. He called it relativity. This theory says that time and space are linked together. Einstein also said our universe has a speed limit. Smart psychic buffs might know this, but nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, which clocks in at 186,000 miles per second. Right here comes the first way of time travel via speed. This is the easiest and most practical way to time travel into the far future, which simply says, go really fast. According to Einstein's theory of special relativity, when you travel at speeds approaching the speed of light, aka at an unbelievable speed, time slows down for you relative to the outside world. Basically, the faster you travel, the slower you experience time. One such mind-blowing experiment turned Einstein's crazy theory into solid belief by setting two clocks to the exact same time, one clock stayed on Earth while the other flew in an airplane, traveling in the same direction as Earth rotates. Using twin atomic clocks, physicists have shown that a flying clock ticks slower because of its speed. In the case of the aircraft, the effect is minuscule, but if you were in a spaceship traveling at 90% of the speed of light, you'd experience time passing about 2.6 times slower than it was back on Earth. And the closer you get to the speed of light, the more extreme the time travel. But that's all about time traveling via speed. However, did you know that you can also time travel through gravity? According to his theory of general relativity, the stronger the gravity you feel, the slower time moves. Say, as you get closer to the center of the Earth, the strength of gravity increases. Time runs slower for your feet than your head. Again, this effect isn't just some tangled web in a scientist's head, it's been measured. But since the time machine is not ready yet, you have to trust me for the experiment conducted in 2010. 14 years ago, physicists at the US National Institute of Standards and Technology placed two atomic clocks on shelves, one 33 centimeters above the other, and measured the difference in their rate of ticking. And what they noticed now became one physics law. The stronger the gravity you feel, the slower time moves. Because the lower one ticked slower, because it feels a slightly stronger gravity. According to the scientists, to travel to the far future, all we need is a region of extremely strong gravity, such as the infamous black hole. If you don't know what that is, then just check out this 
this video I made. I know they are scary and have got a bad reputation for no reason, much like the Kardashians. They just suck you inside their black holes. Once again, just like the Karda- So, black holes have a point of infinite density, known as the singularity in their centers. Plus, they are surrounded by a boundary called the event horizon. And what the theory says, the closer you get to the event horizon, the slower time moves. But it's risky business. Imagine a black hole is like a big, super strong vacuum cleaner in space. The event horizon is like the invisible line around it. If you cross this line, it's like being so close to the vacuum cleaner that no matter how hard you try, you can't escape. So if you want to see what happens hundreds of years from now, you don't even need a time machine. You only need to either travel at speeds close to the speed of light, or spend time in an intense gravitational field. Let me introduce you to wormholes, the key to the whole idea. The concept is a lot less disgusting than it sounds, so stay with me. I suppose you got the concept of the black hole, its singularity and event horizon. But what if I told you mathematically there's also the polar opposite of a black hole called a white hole? Imagine a white hole is like a magical super strong trampoline in space, it has an invisible line around it, just like the black hole, but this time the line works differently. If you're outside the line, no matter how hard you try, you can't jump onto the trampoline. It's like there's an invisible force pushing you away. So if you're outside the white hole, you can never get inside it, no matter what you do. And anything already inside the white hole will find itself ejected from it faster than the speed of light. So when we take a black hole on one side and a white hole on the other and connect the singularities together, we get an entirely new kind of object an Einstein-Rosen bridge, better known as a wormhole. Wormholes are essentially hollow tubes through space and time that can connect very distant regions of the universe. And it also has the somewhat mystical ability to allow backwards time travel. Exactly what you want right now. Imagine a wormhole is like a magical tunnel that connects two places in space. Now, if you take one end of the tunnel and make it go super fast, its time will slow down compared to the other end. This means the two ends of the tunnel won't be in the same time anymore. So, if you walk into the slow end, you could come out of the other end in the past. It's like a secret passage for time travel. Um... But there's a big problem with this magic tunnel. The entrance to the wormhole is inside a black hole, and the most important rule about black holes is once you go in, you can never come out. Ever. So even though the tunnel could let you travel through time, you can't get to it without being trapped forever. So unfortunately, traveling through wormholes is just as deadly as black holes. But do not ever underestimate the human mind, as there have been attempts to make those deadly tunnels traversable by somehow getting their entrances to sit outside the event horizon. And so far, the only way we know how to do this is with exotic matter, which ultimately named a new phenomenon, the ring wormhole. The amazing part of the ring wormhole is they aren't black hole dependent, it works on negative energy. Let me tell you how this works. Imagine you have a special tunnel that can take you to another universe. Normally, you'd have to go through a scary black hole to use it, and once you're in, you can't get out. But if you fill the tunnel with magic stuff called negative mass or negative energy, it changes everything. The negative energy makes it possible for you to use the tunnel without ever having to go through the black hole. So it's like having a super cool portal to another universe without, you know, killing yourself. According to the paper published in the journal Physical Review D by Zelkanov and his team, the ring wormholes could generate something called a closed time-like curve. If one mouth of the wormhole was near a bunch of mass and the other mouth was far away from any significant amount of mass, if the conditions are right around the mouths of the wormhole, the closed time-like curves generated are then able to turn a portal into a time machine. And we will be able to create a real time machine based on this. This brings us to the main question. Is this even achievable? I'll let you decide.